you can go back queen d5. I mean, it looks like a draw, yeah. But Jan hasn't been making the draw, so it's now he does. Check. I think it, it would have been very dangerous, Tanya, if he had not decided on queen e4. It was time. It was time for Jan to uh, go for this idea. And now, of course, is the big question. Will he repeat with either queen e8 or queen d5, or at least offer a repetition for thing? I don't see a way for black to hide. You can go back with your rook to f8 in case there's a check on e8, and then you will also have a check on e6. Jan simply goes queen d5, so not even allowing that option. Guys, we're going to see a, a, a draw here. This will be a perpetual. You've got blitz coming up. That's what's going to happen. This match is absolutely insane. And Fabi, you were the one to call it out first that we will have a blitz playoff. Yeah, yeah. Draw. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's what this rapid playoff has been. It's been super close and four draws. These players didn't really, they weren't even like huge chances, right? They exchanged some slightly better, slightly worse positions, maybe even clearly better in a game or two, but more or less all the games are balanced. I don't think we had a, a single. A position where it was even close to objectively winning and this last game i think was was quite excellently played overall i mean maybe some inaccuracies in the middle game but it was super super complex so uh, that's to be expected and overall just like really really balanced i mean imbalanced but also balanced in terms of the evaluation game and jan is considering but it looks like he's going for it we need four has nothing really to think about here he shouldn't be avoiding the repetition there's no reason to both players down on the clock playing on their last minutes we are expecting a repetition at this point with ding falling back with the king to g8 rook g6 is not a move that you consider here right it's the only <laughs> move that i feel with black keeps the game going but it looks like more like a losing move than a winning attempt if rook g6 <laughs> is not better for what i'd be shocked but it's not definitely. A, he, oh my oh. god! Oh, <laughs> what? Is he playing for a win? Is Dingley Ren trying to win this game? Because this is a big moment. The bishop on e3 is pinned. The queens are looking at each other through that bishop. So if you can't take on c5, black is up a pawn, and Dingley Ren. I keep using this Hemingway uh, expression. You know, he said, "Courage is grace under pressure." He's courageous, and queen f5 gives black the upper hand. Apparently. Yeah, is he just pushing? But but the way, why would white black be better here? Uh, you push with c4, yeah. That's actually c4. So. C4 is on the board. White's got to go h4, Wait. h5, right? That's the plan. But black stops it with There's... h5 or queen g4. g4 as well. You could try to trade queens. You are up two queenside passers, and we keep talking about blitz. This is about to be a blitz game where Yanda Pomshi, he's currently up almost a minute, but he is down a pawn, and those are some scary pawns to be down. I'm in absolute yeah. shock that Ding actually decided to continue the game with just a minute on the clock. He's refused a repetition going into blitz. Yeah, this is a pretty wild decision. Maybe it actually looks like a brilliant decision, but probably because this queen f5 was, was a mistake. Um... And maybe he just missed c4. He thought he's picking up that pawn, but he's not picking up that pawn. So what, what does he do? Bishop to d4? I just want to stop c3. I, I, I really, queen really d3 want to there. stop. Queen d3, yeah? Yeah, queen d3. Oh my gosh. This is, the, this is a position where Jan might have only one move to survive. I, I see the eval bar saying 0.3, but that is completely misleading everybody. There are two separate pass pawns. Most importantly, there's advanced C pawn, and you want to rush your pawn to H5. You do not get that. The queen steps to G4 after pawn to H4, offering a queen trade, and then the pawn goes up to C3. Fabi, Tanya, this Whoa. is worrisome territory for Yana Pomshi, who's dipping to just about a minute, and that was a mistake. Oh, queen D3. Not even queen G4, queen D3. That's the best way. Yeah, that that's really, really bad for white. Oh my goodness. The C3 is happening. That move, Rook G6. Fabi, we were thinking that's not even a possibility. And such a brave decision, and it's paying off. Ding Liren, with that eval bar, it shows that he's clearly better better here. But practically, Fabi, how easy is this in a, with a minute on the clock? And Yan there keeps the queens on the board, which is absolutely crucial for any play with white. He has to get H5 in. Rook D1 well, Black is in. just pushing. Well, like, what does the H5 matter? Because you don't give checks on that diagonal anymore. Like, 
Okay. C3. It doesn't seem to change a huge amount. Yeah, what, what are you doing here as white? Because the queen on d3 is so well positioned. And I, he goes rook d1. He wants to chase the queen off the diagonal. I think that's a good choice. But can't that queen yeah, just slide back to. to f5? And then queen c4. He has to, to engineer some sort of rook d8, rook d5, like something with activity. Oh, but I like queen this. Because if queen c4, there's rook c6 now. The queen and rook yeah. along the sixth rank helps to push the pawn. That's a good move. So wait, does the queen have to go to e2? But that's not what you want to do because then rook c6 anyway with the threat of c2 bishop to a3 and he's also has no time oh uh, wow so yeah this is very very close oh my goodness we're Plus. stunned into silence maybe you need to play queen e2 quickly and just pray i mean obviously your position is bad uh, but at least keep some yeah. time on the clock he's down to 35 seconds ding's the one with the time advantage fabi yeah, well, white has to keep some time on the clock just in case it turns into a mess at some point. Wait, now rook c6? What is even the idea? Is he going to try to sacrifice a piece and go for an attack against this king? That should not pan out, but maybe this king is going to try to hide on h2. And in a scramble, if it gets into real time trouble for black, when you're under attack, that's when mistakes happen. Yeah, maybe a good practical shot. I mean, for sure, this piece sack is his idea. Uh, it doesn't work. Like, all these things are definitely true, but. But he, he wants to avoid it. So we're now rook to c1 at least. Or wait, can you trade? Maybe you could trade. Oh, and it's giving a question mark. You can trade and then try to get your queen back to e4 at some point? Try to make a draw. You just try to check. like hold it move by move. Yeah, queen e4, queen c4. And it's not an it's not an immediate draw, but you're saying black cannot easily progress because the And he finds it. Yeah, queen e4, queen g6, queen c4. Good good try. Not only C2. A, a good practice try, sorry, Fabi, but look at the eval bar. It says minus 1.4. It was at nearly minus 4. So Jan may be fighting back in this game just when it looked like Dingley Ren would be crowned world champion. Well, it's very difficult to advance that pawn because C2 is allowing H5 ideas. Uh, and if not C2, then maybe you play H5 with black here. Maybe you really need to get those light squares under control. Okay, you can give a check. It probably doesn't change a whole lot. Does he want to start pushing well, it the didn't A achieve pawn? Anything. Pushing the A pawn, maybe, maybe. But then bishop to somewhere bishop d4 will get some counterplay. Maybe king goes to h2, not to allow queen e4 check, although probably doesn't change much. Oh my goodness, king h2 is played. And look at the eval bar. It's going near level. This could be dangerous for, for Ding. If he's all in for the win, he could find himself under pressure with his g7 pawn targeted by the bishop on d4 as well. Yeah, I mean, like, bishop d4, c2, maybe you lose because of queen uh, to f7. Yes. Something like that, obviously, you never you would never want to allow. But generally speaking, black does not risk here. But bishop d4, the point of the king on h2, queen e4 was not checked because queen takes b4, wins a piece. 17 seconds, bishop he makes d4, a move. and that was correct one. Wait, a3 and... Oh, is he going back queen f7, queen b3? Or is it queen f7, queen c4? Uh, queen g6 is available. I think that's what you were indicating. The pawn is protected. He goes queen c7, which is a mistake. A huge mistake in time travel from Yonda Pomsi. The queen has to go back to g6. That's the good news for Dingley Ren. He has only one move here. And Yon is the one down to 20 seconds and counting down. Wait, bishop c3? Oh, we just a2 and queen b1 then. There's no checks. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, I think this is over. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. He has gosh. to go queen, c queen c4 back. It's the only, only move. Will he find it? The only way to keep the game going is queen back to c4, going after the bishop. He plays just that, so good find. C c2 now, yeah, this is... Board. Oh my gosh. So close to disaster. But he's holding on right now. Oh, the... is bishop c5? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I was trying to get too clever. So bishop d6, this h4 pawn may be hanging in some positions. He goes king g2, which uh, keeps it at minus 3. So that's obviously an advantage for black. But maybe it's time, Fabi, for your h5 move. Just because you don't want this king to be checked uh, left and right, you know, nonstop. So maybe h5 helps that king? Just to stop white, because white is threatening h5 now. Right. White has a threat of h5. h5, queen of 5, g4, and the queen has to lose contact with the c2 pawn. h5 uh, might not be an easy decision, because you feel like if my queen ever gets active, then white will target that h pawn. Definitely a difficult decision, but might be the right move. If he plays h5, white will play queen to d5. 
H5, Queen D5, and then, oh, I was going to say A2, but you can just take my pawn. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, A2. No, that works, that works, because Queen E4, take this bishop. Oh, yeah, he can actually play A2 immediately. Although, you have to be very careful here. Let's see, King F1. Oh, I don't think the king on the belongs the first rank. That means a pawn might promote with check at some point. Wait, now King E2, Queen G4, so you can't move your king. Oof. But he was avoiding this A2, Queen E4, Queen E3, because he saw that option. He was avoiding it with King F1. But wait, now bishop to b2 is coming. This is just game over. I mean, there's no more hope here. The bishop on b2, white doesn't even have counterplay. Okay, wow. He's going for des just desperation. But h5, queen f5, yeah, this is... Desperation is not working out. Ding is going to win this match. Unbelievable. The resilience from Ding Li Ren. He brings his queen up. Now it's on f5. There's a pass pawn c2 that's defended. You can't distract the queen anymore. Ding Li Ren, who is down a point in this match, is he about to become our world champion? Mm -hmm. Uh, Black can do anything here. I mean, he doesn't have to panic, but he, he can play a2. Uh, Queen d3 probably wins. g3 probably wins, yeah. And now a2. a2 is super, super winning. Not even hope is left after a2. We're just seconds away from Ding becoming the world champion. If he just plays the next few accurate moves, it's all over. Just this one is... move, a2, and it's over. And it's on the board. Oh my goodness. And Yana Pomsi, he sits up in his chair, but he knows this might be the last few moves of his world championship. Oh my god. Got it. Oh, you see it. He, and he, he gives knows. Up. He knows it. Yeah, Bishop takes f4 is easy. Heartbreaking. It's over. Ding Liren is the world chess champion. Wow. He has made history as the first Chinese player to win the world championship. We see handshakes that Ding is overtaken by emotions. He isn't able to leave the board. And for Yan Nepomnishi, a heartbreaking moment there. He leaves the hall. This has been a fight of courage, of grit and determination. And all of that has paid off for Ding Liren. Take a moment and admire Ding right now. What a match this has been and a deserving victory for Ding Liren. He is he should, 2023 world champion. He shouldn't even have been here, right? To get to the candidates, he had someone had to uh, be removed. He then entered the fray by playing 30 games in a month. Then he goes to the candidates. He gets second place. Magnus Carlsen has to step aside, has to abdicate the throne. And then he gets into this match. We see the final score, two and a half, one half in tie breaks. But he was trailing in the match until game 12. I cannot believe it. But Ding Li Ren, a deserving world champion.